Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually going to do a bit of an Easter weekend. Well, it's not Easter weekend. Is it Easter weekend? April bank holiday vlog. But yeah, I thought I would do a bit more of a casual vlog. So this will be study and relax. I still have so much studying to catch up on, which I'll get into later. At the moment, I am just quickly taking off some really scabby nail polish. So we are actually off to Somerset for the weekend. My partner's parents live over there and they're actually away for the weekend. So we are taking Krug and we're just spending the weekend in the country. We've got a couple of plans. It should be really nice, relaxed, maybe do some barbecuing. I think the weather's meant to be lovely. Should be good. The LPC is actually on like Easter break at the moment, but obviously as I am so far behind, I am clearly not going to be having any kind of Easter break. So today is Thursday and I'm at work this morning. So I started at eight and I finish at four because I'm only gonna take a quick half an hour lunch. And then I need to go over to my dad's house to pick up my car because parking in West London is just extortionate. So I leave my car at his house. And I also really need to tidy the flat. It's a bit of a state. Little Krug monster is sunbathing next to me. He likes to capture any sun in the flat that he can. So he sits in the windows. Work has been very busy recently, or well, there's just been um, quite a few interesting things going on. So it's been really interesting for me and a good learning curve on different things that have been coming up, like entering new jurisdictions and figuring out um, what the best approach is when you're entering, you're starting to employ people in different countries and things. I've been at the company a year now, so I think it's my anniversary next week or the week after, which is really nice. I can't believe I've been at Veramed for a year now. It's flown by in a way, but also to think that I've been working at a company pretty much 100% remotely for a year gets yeah, mad. And I've not been working in a law firm. It's so different for me. So yeah, now my quick two minute break to take my nail polishes off. I've got to get back to work. I have got a couple of calls today. I've got a legal catch up with kind of like a mentor that I have. She basically reviews some of the work that I get on with and answers any questions I might have about working in house and progressing to qualifying and all of that. So she's very helpful and we have weekly catch ups. Then I have some other bits to get ticked off my list before the bank holiday. Also, these flowers over here. Me and my partner last weekend went to Columbia Road Flower Market and peonies are one of my absolute favorite flowers. So I bought a bunch of peonies and they're absolutely rubbish. Like, let me just show you. There's a little Krug monster sunbathing. Hey boy. <laughs> Look at these. So peonies normally have so many um, like petals and these are just empty, completely empty. Like there's no, you know, they just don't look like peonies. And also, you know, it's been not that long and they already look so droopy and dead. And then my partner decided to get tulips. I do not have a vase that's good for tulips. These are also dying super quickly. I do find that tulips die quite quickly though. So I don't think that's as abnormal but yeah that vase just does not work and it, please excuse the mess i have so much tidying up to do but yeah i'm really disappointed in those i'm going to crack on with work and i will check in with you guys later
okay so I've just finished quickly clearing up the kitchen I literally have four minutes until another meeting feeling a bit better the lounge is an absolute tip I can't even show you having a puppy they throw their toys out of the basket every single day I actually have a flip-flop up here because uh, Krug likes to chew everything just had a quick break uh, to clean the kitchen and I've just given Krug an ice cube as it's really hot actually and in this flat it becomes like a greenhouse but I now have to jump on the ELT meeting and then got a couple more bits to wrap up and then I really need to finish packing for this weekend and then also tidying and then I need to go to my dad's to get my car so I feel like today is just completely running away from me I cannot believe it's literally three minutes to one o'clock and I finish work at four. That's three hours of work left. And then I really need to shoot off like straight away. So yeah, time is of the earth's essence. I've also been listening to LBC all morning and they're talking about another like fuel crisis. And it's just really not ideal <laughs> because we're meant to be driving down to Somerset and I have no idea if my car has any petrol in it. So that should be interesting. Apparently like Southeast London, which is where my dad lives is really bad you know everyone keeps having to pass through loads of different petrol stations to actually find something i'm going to crack on with my meeting um round up some bits at work before i log off and i'll see you a bit later morning it's friday now at 9 30. didn't check in at all after work yesterday the day just completely ran away to be honest so i nipped down to my dad's with krug with me which is always fun because obviously he's a dash and i have to carry him around the tube and everything so that's not the easiest or lightest of things so then yeah met my dad went for a quick drink at the pub um, soft drink I was driving and then he gave me my car keys and then I headed back to West Kensington to meet Toby to get everything packed and ready to go. I didn't end up getting back to West Ken till about 7 p.m and then I hadn't eaten so I quickly nipped to Waitrose, picked up a salad and then packed everything. If you can hear shouting Krug is being a bit of a devil today. <laughs> That's probably why I look so tired um he's had me up since 5 45 this morning so going back we left london about 9 p.m so we didn't get to somerset until 10 to uh, quarter to 11 uh, no quarter to 12 that was a long drive for me and i drove the whole way and i didn't stop i just thought i don't want to get a coffee now because otherwise i won't sleep at night um but Oh, that was a testing drive. It was very busy on the roads. It wasn't like bad traffic, but it was just busy. There were a lot of people out. And then Krug remembers this house because um, Toby's parents have a golden retriever and they are like best friends. So the last time we were here, obviously Callie was here and he was playing all weekend. And so when we got here, he was running mad around the house, like trying to figure out why isn't anyone here? Where's Callie? Yeah, he literally would not go to sleep. He would not calm down. He was crying, trying to get out of the room. <sighs> it was very testing and then he started biting us and he just turned into an absolute devil to be honest like and then this morning he woke me up at like 5 30 again crying whining trying to get out so I brought him down took him outside he's crying now or barking I took him outside came back in and he would not settle he kept eating the soil from plants in the house He's just being such a naughty boy and he's never normally like this. I just shut him in the kitchen because this kitchen is nice tiled flooring. So I knew that if he like made a mess or anything, it's not that bad. And I just shut him in here. I went back into the living room and I just slept for like an hour and a half because I was so tired. And today's plan is have a relaxing morning and then we're actually off to Langham Wine Estate, which is about an hour away from here and we're doing a wine tasting and a light lunch. So I think we'll just get like a cheese platter or something and then come back here for the afternoon and evening. I don't think we really want to do like too much. I think we just really want to relax. That's what's been going on. We've arrived in Somerset and we have a devil dog. Yay.
So I don't know if anybody is interested, um, but I thought I would show you what I'm wearing today. This is a dress from Reese, actually. Um, I got it in the sale and it was such a good purchase. It's so, so comfortable and elasticated and you can just kind of dress it up or dress it down. It's so comfortable, but I think it also kind of looks like you're making an effort, which is exactly the kind of clothing I like. But yeah, it's just got a little slit down one of the sides. It doesn't have it on this side. And then I've got my vages on, which seriously need to be cleaned. And then I've just got a little denim jacket to throw on top. And then for my jewelry, so so this diamond my mum gave me, um, I'm not actually sure where it's from, I think just like a standard jeweler. Both of my earrings are from Misoma. I absolutely love Misoma, wear it all the time. That's also the ring that I've got. Um, this does actually need to be re-dipped, I think, in gold. My necklace is from Dubai when I lived out there, one of my best friends bought me this. And then, let me just switch you over. On this hand, uh, these are both family actually, so I've got my Apple Watch on and then my bracelets. Oh, ignore that lump on my arm. It's just like lead poisoning, apparently. Every time I go to the doctor, um, I check to see if it's cancerous and it's not, so yeah, ignore that ugly thing on my arm. But the one closest to my hand it was my grandmother's from China, I think, when she went travelling. And then the other one is Masoma. And I just think they're super pretty and dainty and go really well together. So that's me. That's what I'm wearing for today. Um, we're off to the wine tasting now. So I've decided to do the self-guided tour and tasting because Toby works in wine. I didn't think it was necessary to do like the actual tour with the people. And also because we've traveled around France doing all of the wine tastings, I thought it just wasn't really necessary to pay extra to do that. So you get a self-guided tour and tasting and then we've got um, a light lunch booked in as well. It is now five o'clock the day after I last spoke to you, I think. So yesterday we were at the vineyard and it was really, really nice, actually. It was pretty much in the middle of nowhere, so nice and relaxed and they'd done it really well. A really nice barn and you walk around all of the vineyards and the vines. Langham have won so many awards recently. You know, they're coming out in blind tastings better than most champagne, actually all champagne, they're coming out on top. So it was really nice to actually go and see them and see what they're doing. They have a really cool winemaker and all of the guys that work there were super lovely. So with the tour and tasting, it was 10 pounds as a self-guided tour and then you get three of the champagnes to try which are their two cuvee classics and their rosé sparkling. All three were really lovely. I think my second and the rosé were my preference over the first one wasn't quite for me. It was a bit too lemony and acidic. And then on top of that we bought two extra glasses so we then bought the Blanc de Blanc 2018 vintage and the Pinot Meunier. Pinot Meunier wasn't my favourite which is not like me. I normally like really creamy brioche champagnes, but this just was quite harsh. It wasn't quite hitting the same mark as like Bollinger and vintage champagnes that you get in Champagne and um, that use the Pinot, Mo P Pinot Meunier grape. The Blanc de Blanc, however, was sublime. It was so, so lovely, really crisp. I actually think it was nicer than houses like Verve Kiko. In my opinion, it was better. So we took two bottles of that home, one for ourselves, which we're having tonight, and one for Toby's parents. I bought just to say thank you for this weekend for letting us stay at their house. And then we just came back, had a barbecue, enjoyed the rest of the evening, had a little bit too much to drink and just crashed in bed. So this morning we both had a really chilled morning. The dog again woke us up at like six o'clock, barking and crying, trying to get out of the room. I think he thinks that there's other people in the house because the last time he was here, there was everyone here. 
so he's a little bit chaotic in the morning but then Toby just brought him downstairs and then brought him back up to bed and he settled down again um, and just slept again so we actually didn't get up until about 10 30 which was so nice I never get to have a lie in and then we just had a really relaxing first half of the day I sat outside in the garden in the sun and read my book which again I never get to do I never get to really read much of my own personal reading it's all like PC reading at the moment so that was really nice then we popped into Ilminster which is like the local town to where Toby's parents live and just had a peruse looked at the properties around here and yeah just had a bit of a mooch so the designer Alice Templey she is from Somerset and she has a bar in Ilminster um, which is really nice it's in like a courtyard nice cobbled courtyard with nice just done really nicely and it's so she has her shop and the bridal shop and then the bar and she owns all of them so we just stopped and had a quick cocktail i had a margarita which was very nice and toby had a negroni which was also very nice and then we've just come back so it's now five o'clock We've got some nibbles out and tonight we're going to do salmon on the barbecue. Dog has completely crashed. Let me just show you. I think he's just so like overwhelmed by all of this excitement. But look at the little guy. Oh. Anyway, yeah, so Toby has just made us a gin and tonic and we're going to head out into the sun it's just the most gorgeous weekend. I feel like sometimes on a bank holiday, someone is out there looking out for all of the British people and gives us sun because sometimes we are just so lucky on a long bank holiday weekend and this is like a prime example. It is gorgeous outside. It's like 22 degrees, a bright sun and yeah, let me just show you. Ugh, just beautiful. There's a little barbecue we had going. And it's just bright blue skies. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to enjoy a gin tonic, have some snacks together, and have some salmon on the barbecue. And then I think we're going to have a movie night in the conservatory, because the conservatory, I think it's actually southwest facing garden, but the sun sets in front of the conservatory. So you can be in the conservatory all cozy and watch the sunset. So I think we may be doing that tonight. That's what I'm going to go and enjoy a drink with my partner, because he is calling me. <laughs> and I'll catch up a bit later. Cheers. just showing you my outfit for today. I completely forgot to show you what I was wearing yesterday, but I was just wearing some 
white floaty trousers um, with a tight top. So today I have on this maxi dress or midaxi, I guess. It's not quite full floor length. Um, but I got this a few years ago actually in Miss Selfridge. But yeah, it's just nice. Got two little slits down it. Again, something comfy, but looks like you're putting in quite a bit of effort. Um, again, got my Soma jewellery on. I'm not really wearing any makeup today. Just put on a bit of mascara. And I got a tiny bit pink yesterday. So I've put some um, sun cream on. That's my outfit. And then my vages, as always. And I've got my little denim jacket there. Yeah, we're off to the beach. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday. Oh, it's actually 12.30 now. This morning we got up early and we headed to the beach with Krug and he just had the best time. It's the first time he's been to the beach and we let him off and he was just so good. Absolutely loved it. There were so many other dogs there and, you know, he stayed with us the whole time. He was just really good and he loved it. He didn't go in the water. Um, he's a bit cautious around the water, but, um, yeah, I think he had a lovely time. So we've just got back now and Toby has just made us some Dalgonas, which if you don't know what a Dalgona is, Google it, try it and report back what you think of them because I think they are delicious. We actually make them with less sugar than what the recipe says though, because we don't love sugar. I actually never have sugar in coffee. So um, this is like a real treat to have a sugary coffee and it's iced with milk and you whip the coffee with the sugar and hot water and it just creates like the most delicious drink. So yeah, I'm now actually going to do a bit of studying. I really don't want to. I really have zero motivation. I feel tired and it's just another lovely day and I don't really want to be studying. But I know I have to do some. We need to tidy up the house, put it back to the way it was when we got here. And then we are going back to London tomorrow morning. So tomorrow is going to be a study day for me. We're probably going to leave here at like eight or 9 a.m. So we'll be back in London before lunch and then I'll spend the afternoon studying and getting ready for work for Tuesday. So today, yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple of hours of work then relax, enjoy the evening, and then have a bit more of an intense session tomorrow. As I've said a thousand times, I'm still so far behind on the LPC, but I believe I've still got another week of no tutorials, like no new content to be catching up with. So I can still, over this next week while I'm at work and next weekend. Yes, I'm going to do some business law and practice today, I think. I've also changed into comfy clothes. Um, I did have a dress on when I w we went to the beach, um, but obviously now I'm back and going to be studying. God, that's strong. I think this is the jet fuel that I need to start studying. I don't really want to leave. I never want to leave the countryside when I'm here. That's my update. Right, let's get to it. Future Charlotte here checking in once again as old Charlotte seems incapable of ever finishing a video. <laughs> So for the rest of the day, as you can see, I selected a study playlist on my Spotify and really did get into the zone. I wasn't in the mood to study. However, I did actually make some good progress and was relatively productive. I got through quite a few chapters and made some decent notes. So I also got myself some snacks and had Krug interrupt me a couple of points, but I did get a decent amount done. The next day we travelled back to London and then I tidied the flat and did some more studying for the rest of the day. I didn't do anything exciting and I completely forgot to vlog and show any of that. But that pretty much rounds up what I did on my bank holiday. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. 
If you have, please give it a like and comment down below, letting me know what you would like to see from me on the in the future. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and also click the, the bell notification as that gives you a little nudge every time I upload something. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then I highly recommend you do as I post more daily updates on my stories about what I'm getting up to as a paralegal and also during my LPC studies. And that pretty much rounds up this video. So as I said, I really hope you have enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.